Look back option. Look back options, in the terminology of finance, are a type of exotic option with path dependency, among many other kind of options. The payoff depends on the optimal, maximum or minimum, underlying assets price occurring over the life of the option. The option allows the holder to look back over time to determine the payoff. There exist two kinds of look back options, with floating strike and with fixed strike. Look back option with floating strike. As the name introduces it, the option's strike price is floating and determined at maturity. The floating strike is the optimal value of the underlying assets price during the option life. The payoff is the maximum difference between the market assets price at maturity and the floating strike. For the call, the strike price is fixed at the asset's lowest price during the option's life, and, for the put, it is fixed at the asset's highest price. Note that these options are not really options, as they will be always exercised by their holder. In fact, the option is never out of the money, which makes it more expensive than a standard option. The payoff functions for the look-back call and the look-back put, respectively, are given by where smx backslash display style s sub max is the asset's maximum price during the life of the option, smin backslash display style s sub min is the asset's minimum price during the life of the option, and st backslash display style s sub t is the underlying asset's price at maturity t backslash display style t. Look back option with fixed strike. As for the standard European options, the option's strike price is fixed. The difference is that the option is not exercised at the price at maturity, the payoff is the maximum difference between the optimal underlying asset price and the strike. For the call option, the holder chooses to exercise at the point when the underlying asset price is at its highest level. For the put option, the holder chooses to exercise at the underlying asset's lowest price. The payoff functions for the look-back call and the look-back put, respectively, are given by where smx backslash display style s sub max is the asset's maximum price during the life of the option, smin backslash display style s sub min is the asset's minimum price during the life of the option, and k backslash display style k is the strike price. Dot. Arbitrage free price of look back options with floating strike. Using the Black Skulls model, and its notations, we can price the European look back options with floating strike. The pricing method is much more complicated than for the standard European options and can be found in Musula. Assume that there exists a continuously compounded risk free interest rate R greater than zero, backslash display style R greater than zero, and a constant stocks volatility sigma greater than zero, backslash display style backslash sigma greater than zero. Assume that the time to maturity is D greater than zero, backslash display style T greater than zero, and that we will price the option at time T less than T backslash display style t less than t, although the life of the option started at time 0. Define tau equals t minus t, backslash display style backslash tau equals t t. Finally, set that. Then, the price of the look back call option with floating strike is given by where and where phi backslash display style backslash phi is the standard normal cumulative distribution function phi a equals 1 2 pi minus e minus x 2 2 d x backslash display style backslash phi a equals backslash frac 1 backslash sqrt 2 backslash by backslash int underscore backslash inf t to the power of e backslash frac x squared 2 backslash comma dx dot Similarly, the price of the look back put option with floating strike is given by partial look back options. Partial look back options are a subclass of look back options with the same payoff structure, but with the goal of reducing its fair price. One way is to scale the fair price linearly with constant mu, backslash display style backslash mu, where 0 less than lambda less than 1 backslash display style 0 less than backslash lambda less than 1. Thus the payoff is 
Selecting specific dates is a more intricate way of creating partial look-back options and other partial path-dependent options. The principle lies in selecting a subset of monitoring dates, so that the look-back condition is less strong and thus reducing the premium. Examples include the partial look-back option proposed by Heinen and Kat, and the amnesiac look-back option proposed by Chang and Lee. Discrete partial path dependent options are overpriced under continuous assumptions, and pricing is complex and performed is typically done using numerical methods.